5's Helena Battapaglia was there and joins us live from Burlington with more. Helena. Well, vigils just like this one were held all around the country tonight. Six of them in total happening uh, in the state of Vermont tonight here in Burlington. People came to reflect and remember. It's so horrible when these things happen. 38,000 people die every year in the U.S. because of gun violence. Each of these 50 candles meant to remember those deaths. Because it's easy to forget. With the sixth anniversary of the deadly Sandy Hook shooting happening later this week, vigils like this one are taking place across the country. It doesn't need to be this way. We can do so much better. City leaders, doctors, and gun control advocates speaking about what communities can do to prevent future massacres. These tragedies demand our grief and they require our action. Vermont isn't immune to deadly shootings. And I'm very sorry. Just last year, Jody Herring was sentenced to life in prison without parole after shooting a DCF worker and three of her family members. Last February, a potential school shooting was prevented at Fairhaven Union High. That incident led Governor Scott to sign a slew of gun reforms into law last April. State senators like Phil Baruth are advocating for more. One idea, establishing a cooling off period for buyers before taking possession of a gun. A waiting period, a short waiting period, is a good idea and always has been. And there are a couple of other good ideas that I'd like to pursue. Doctors attending this vigil insist gun violence is a public health issue. Looking at the system, not blaming individuals, and looking at science and research to see what you can do to prevent the problem in the first place. Now the sixth anniversary of Sandy Hook is actually coming up in just three days. Vigils just like this one are expected to be held uh, throughout the rest of this week. Live in Burlington tonight, Helena Batapaglia, NBC5 News.